Alright, so anyway, I got this too. Test 5, fight, reduce the difficulty of this test by 1 for each damage. I, oh, I got 4. <laughs> Only 1. If you fail, you must either take 2 damage or choose the card with the highest printed cost in your hand and discard it. Well. <sighs> so, 2 over 1. And I failed. Okay, so so I'll get rid of fine tuning. Oh wait, don't want to get rid of fine tuning. Mm -hmm. Maybe microscope. Tuning. Oh yeah, it's for that. So I guess I'll just get rid of the microscope. <sighs> All right, what do you got? Uh, I got this fucking, I got fucking, fucking Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Aquaman. I got to, like, every time I draw a card, I got to put a fucking resource on this. Once I get six of them, then fucking Crystal Parasite comes into play, whatever the fuck that means. God oh, damn it. Yeah, it's getting tough down here in these crystal caves. No wonder these idiots died. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So. Here we go. So you want me to go first? Be yeah, I got to go first because I got to yeah. get these things off of you. Fuck, and I just threw away my goddamn Springfield. Now, of course, I know. Right? when I get rid of the Springfield, <laughs> now it would have came in handy. Fuck. All right. Um, I got to come over here. Fuck, I can't even do real. Well, I can try and... Now, if I were to put two damage on the guard dog, would it do two? Would it do do two damage, or would it just be like? I don't think it can. Let's see. What does it say? It says I when it I... deals damage in a horror guard dog, but it doesn't say for you have each to exhaust damage. it. Oh, that's for engaging. No, so that enemy. that's that's okay. for an enemy attack deals damage. But actually, and I can horror. I can use him. Okay, oh, it's it's because if it was different, uh, if it's different monsters, then I think yeah, you can use. It. But if it's like two damage from one monster, you couldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like if I if I let the Brood Queen and I put both its damage on there, would it be able to do two damage back? To that the would brood no. Queen? That would be one. Yeah. But if the other <laughs> one attacked too. <laughs> yeah, it would be separate a thing. So, I think okay. So this, oh yeah, I gotta think this out. I move over here. By fax to action, the guard dog to pull the rude soldier. Right, right. that to pull the brood soldier to me he'll do the one damage to me
take the horror. Wait, 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 wait. Why would it do damage to you? Because when, when you use the guard dog in a fast action to engage an enemy, the enemy attacks me. Oh, okay. And then I put his damage on the guard dog, and then the guard dog does the damage to it. Yeah. I would right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's a fast to... action, so that pulls one to me. Yeah. And then I use an action to pull the other one to me, and then I use my last action to kill off the brood soldier, and I'm going to have to well, take actually, the damage it... from the brood queen. No, that's good. Well, that's good because you could fast action that one over, takes a damage. Now he's at one. Pull the other one, and then put all the damage into that, and then on their enemy phase when when this thing attacks it you kill it off and then you get an extra damage going into the brood queen but your guard dog i think dies at that point so you would do what would you do how much damage can you do oh you can do a lot because you have thompson oh thompson only does plus one okay and this doesn't so you can do three, so that's three in total coming out doing using the ad hoc. Now let me ask you quite now. See here's here's the thing that gets a little weird. I don't know if ad because like the, the sledgehammer is strange because it Holy F. shit. This is what you want to have ad hoc on. No, I know, dude. I know. I, I, Sledgehammer is the fucking thing to, to have out, but fortunately it didn't come out in time. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Now the question is because. But you could hit with Sledgehammer. You get that minus one, though. Yeah, but I can't use the two because it's a right. two action, right? Does it say resolve and yeah, just a single ability? If it said like you can resolve an ability on that card, then he could use either, but it specifies the one you call it one one action. So, I mean but that's cool though, because you can either way you can do three damage. But the th and the, for but that. the thing is, is too. Is here's the here's the thing too. This is a tool. Sledgehammer is a tool. Yeah. So my uh, inherent ability of you get plus one skill on skill tests on tool assets means that my my inherent ability negates that minus one. Oh, nice. Okay. And it adds one to ever to it adds one to the gravedigger show, so that's actually a plus three. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So wait. So let me think this out because I got. I'm trying to do this the most efficient way. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if you, if you, I want to use... pull the brood soldier with the fast action. Yeah. Pull it and then put a damage with it. You want to put a damage on it, so Bam. that gets one damage on that. And that's over here. Um, then you I use an action engage to this engage guy. the brood queen, right? Yeah, and then you have one one fight shot. So you do a grave digger shovel, and then either one of these gives you a plus. So then you do that does three damage to the brood queen. Then during the enemy phase, this thing hits. Your guard dog, guard dog kills it. The brood queen hits your guard dog. You kill off the the guard dog to put two more or one more damage, and you've done four. And so now, at your next turn, the brood queen is at five hit points, and you're sitting on top of one, two, three, three damage and. 
a ridiculous because what you can do if you hit you don't even know what i'm gonna do right now you could probably kill it that's that's one two three got one two three, so that four. would be a total of seven damage. that would be a well, four that would be a total of eight damage you could put on the brood queen and it would have one hit point on your next turn if you use these all and they all hit right oh actually okay let's start let's start this one well, i got the fast action Exhaust, exhaust the guard dog. Boom. This thing comes to me. Okay. Take. I gotta take, uh, let's see. I got Guard dog takes a damage, right? Try this. I'm gonna take a damage. Take one horror. One damage goes onto this. Then I'm going to gauge. Then I'm going to first with the grade stub eagle shovel. They get a plus three, and this thing gets what? Uh, this is an out of two fight, right? Because it's got the extra yeah, blue yeah. shoulder, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, so I've got a, what do I got? I got a four, five, six over two. Six over two. Now, wait, before you do this. I think you got it, but I was going to say, before you do that, you can throw... Um, extra damage on it with any of this stuff you got <laughs> yeah um <laughs> seven over two so there you go that'll do it's two damage right seven and the ad hoc thompson Ad hoc gets three, four, five over two, six, seven over two, and your yeah, eight, six, seven, eight over two. Boom. Oh, Wait, you may swap a tool asset in your play area with a tool asset in your hand, <laughs> equal or lower printed cost. Oh, I forgot, dude, too. That was probably, I spent more money to put that out. Okay, this, ah, shit. This yeah, is it's too high. I was, I was hoping I could swap the sledgehammer. But, but you, can still, you can still swap one hit with the sledge out, you know what I mean? Going in, because as soon as you get that one card where you can pull shit out of your discard by you just pull this shit right back in no, it, if it comes anyway. out but wait so okay so here we are we're, so we're still doing this so the thompson's giving me that uh, three oh my god okay <laughs> three four five six seven eight so yeah so it was eight over two and i fucking got it with the elder sign uh, and that's going to do. One, that's going to do three, one, four. No, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five damage. Where'd the fifth one come from? Because, uh, let's see. So, Thompson gives me one. That's one damage. Plus your Upgraded one for just hitting. Blow. So you're already one, at two. Two. two Okay, so if you are, yeah, okay, so that's two, three, four, five. Oh, this does two? Yeah, because it's the upgraded vicious blow. Oh, because you hit for more than two. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. That's where I was, I yeah. was just missing where that extra one was coming from. So five. Yeah. 
Five. So now we're this thing's and down to two, two hit points. Bang. All right. And I think that's that's it. So that's All right. Me. So I have to test frozen. Or did I already test frozen affair? It's at the end of my turn. I think I. No, I don't know. But anyway. But you got to go. I went first, so you got to go now. Oh, I haven't gone. Yeah, I was going to say why. Let's see, so I do have frozen and field. <laughs> right All right, oh, so goodness. now I can put shit out at least. I can bust Where out. Where you go? I'm going to grab another beer. Two. I can put out the Hawkeye folding camera. Um, I'm going to move a clue to the Hawkeye folding Folding camera. So I put put it out, and then I use the clue. Oh, I don't even need the clue. Six over four, six over two. But put it on there anyway. <clears throat> six, seven, eight over two. Don't really need it, and gets a plus one. So that's. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do. That. Yeah, you know, I did it. So I gotta do. It. Nah, fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. I wasn't gonna do it. Um. Yeah, so I get that. Oop. Oh, you know what? To be fair, I did it. I have a clue. Okay. So now, this place, I think I can move. Fast action move to a connecting location. So I can't just move. <clears throat> I guess I can move. Oh wait, no, I can do this thing right here. How do I do this? Investigators at your location may spend one per investigator. I gotta pay, spend two clues. Oh no way. There are no clues on the location, so that's what I need to do. My last action. Draw. <clears throat> one of these cards. Come on, baby. Nope. Okay. Dissonant voices. Okay, I don't need to play assets because my actions are done. But I'm going to now go frozen in fear. I'm going to put fucking my clue on my magpie. <clears throat> <clears throat> and that's going to give me a four. Four over three. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Nope, it's going to be bad. Choose an insect enemy at your location and engage with the melee attack. Is there an insect enemy? Yes, there is. Well, that fucks that all up. Wait. Damn it. Yep, that fucks that all up. Holy shit. How can it be so bad, dude? You realize what's happening, right? You're just pulling an insect enemy to you? Yeah. So that one that you were going to kill with the guard dog? Still on me. But you'll kill the bird mother right now. But I'm just saying that that whole smooth plan where that was just gone and there were two more on the bird mother got fucked by my stupid frozen and shit. But I can um, <clears throat> I can evade this thing pretty easily. Well, maybe not easily. Well, I'll be able evade. to pull it back to me and kill it anyway before <laughs> it attacks you. Oh, no, you you'll have to take the damage this time. Yeah. Um, alright, so now it's enemy phase. And this thing that was supposed to fucking get you. Get me. I'm it, one the away one from The one good death. thing is it actually won't kill off my fucking dog. I can put two damage on the dog. Three. One. Four. Dog. Uh, and take one Got him two away from horror death. Fuck. I'm one away, one away from health death. 
And in and fact, then... I have. Nice. How'd you get so much damage on? Because that thing that was on me, that every time I had to move or did anything, I got to fucking took damage. Oh. <clears throat> Um, Ducks. like we were pulling this, but well, whatever's under here, I can. All we need is reveal. one of these fucking shards, one of these fucking crystal remains. I don't even know. Fucking mm -hmm. anyway, so, um, so we got that was enemy. Yeah, we have upkeep. Oh, okay. Could have used that a fucking minute ago. <laughs> Actually, it didn't matter because, well, yeah, no, I would have fucking beat that if I was. Nah, yeah, I would have beat it by one, or not one. I would have made it even. That would have worked. Yeah. Um. All right. We are in the witching hour. <clears throat> Take your car. And I get bone hardy boy shit. What's going on here? Downpour. Oh. So I test. Okay, that's easy for me. Six over three. <sighs> Oops, feeling action. Alright, um, am I doing six over three? Getcha. Boom, Boom. you're out. <laughs> and then it's rad because mine is, is like test five. That's that one you had oh, yeah, animation. Yeah. And then you reduce the difficulty of the test by each damage on you, so I basically test a zero. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I think I, I had to test a one back when I had that. <laughs> That's because I was so fucked up. I was like, nah, yeah, no biggie. Finally right. being hurt. Mm. Okay, so let me go first. So kill the brood before you do anything, because we want that out of the way. Yeah. So... I don't need, let's see. Cool. Dude, this thing's only got, this is a two, right? So if that's a five over two, I might just even yeah, throw it over power in there just to make sure I hit it. What? Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, I can even fucking. Yeah, you can throw a daring at it. You gotta pull a card. Or if I Actually, can... I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my overpower because I don't need to like get. I'm already at five. This this will give me five, six, seven over. Wait, actually, wait a minute. No, I don't need to do that because this is gonna be actually a plus three because it's a tool. That's six over two. Six over two is good. One damage with the shovel. Six over two. Bang. Mm. This thing's gone. Vic? Yeah, this is too Vic, dude. Bang. Vic. Did you put it in the Vic oh. person? Okay, cool. And then, oh. uh, mm. and now I'm going to pull this thing to me. I'm going to try to fucking kill it without pulling it to me. Yeah, I was going to say, if you can kill it, just shoot at it. Oh, actually, you'll kill me if you miss. You will kill me if you miss. Oh. <laughs> How confident you feel it. <laughs> well, I mean, I could do it. The only thing that I can make it to where the only thing that will get me is a testicle. Yeah. But I feel like every time I tempt fate, that's when fucking shit goes wrong. I mean, if I wasn't That's gonna right. like yeah, die, if I was just gonna cool. take some damage, I would be that fine with it. But I'm gonna die if you if you kill me, if you shoot me. That 
So if you pull I it don't. over and you miss it, then it's yeah. I don't. At least we're both luck. alive. I don't think it has anything to do with luck. That's just probability. It sucks. Because that's a three. Wait, so what do I got? I've got a six. It would be a six over three, seven, eight over three. Yeah. Wouldn't it kill me? And that thing goes in the victory display, right? Because it says victory on it. Yeah. Now, I don't think... Now, it says that if... The brood queen enemy is set aside. Now it's not set aside. It's in the victory display. So it's, the set aside doesn't count anymore. No, it's set aside. Wait. Let's see. When the brood is placed. Wait. I'm doing something. If the enemy is set aside, which they are now, reveal tokens from the chaos bag equal to the number of insect enemies. It's in the victory display. Is that still considered set aside? I thought that was like you killed it. Set aside, I thought was in when it's like in the locker, like in the beginning. Once you pull it out and kill it. Yeah. Set aside anymore. Yeah, so I don't think we have to do that. Yeah, I think. If they're now clearly so I need to what do I need to do. I need uh, I can take one more action. Flip this over and hope the fucking card's not gonna kill me. Oh, and I got that so I get to pull a card. Hold on. Um Alright, I'm good. Yeah, play as Rocket. Wait, when did I get this? Oh, wait, hey, no, 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 no. That thing goes away. That goes away. Yeah, when did I get it? You you, you got that before the upkeep thing. So at the end of the round, it goes okay. away, right? Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, you got it during your turn because that's the card you flipped over that was under your location. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Shit, I don't have a clue. Oh, I got this though. I'm gonna try it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got one. It's the larval tunnel. The larval is in a plane adjacent to the location from which it was drawn. Here we go. It's blue. Mm. Search the encounter deck discard pile for a colorless larva. Find at this location and read this shit. Oh no. Colorless larva. There's nothing set aside. Is it in the colorless? Yep. Colorless larva goes. Where's it go? It goes here. Okay. Um. What was I reading that's making me do all this? Oh, I took that card. Found this place. Um, Alright, so I read that shit. Do, do, do. There it is. Tunnel lar or larval tunnel. Uh, Billow stench wafts from the tunnel, crawling with pillowy white insects. Monstrous larva there blindly out the dark with milky white eyes the insect colony keeps its young in the tunnel to mature judging by the gory and desiccated remains on the 
floor. The older brood soldiers feed them with a steady supply of local wildlife, and anyone foolish enough to venture into their caves. Gather one set aside crystal remains cards along with top two cards of the encounter deck and shuffle them together. Place the three cards face down and stack beneath the larval tunnel. Okay. Son of a fucking bitch. All right, okay. so here's So now we got to try to get that shard because that's all we need. It says one of those, right? So. One is set aside okay, well. remains with two the encounter deck. Okay. One of the set aside remains with two encounter deck. Shuffled. Then shuffle them together and place the three cards face down beneath the larva panel. Of the larval tunnel. Oh, so, oh, dude, this is perfect for you because you can just keep evading this thing and you get to draw the top card, although it could be an encounter card. We're hoping it's a crystal remains, but you just have to keep evading that oh, thing. Oh, fuck. Damn it. That's perfect. I just threw away my microscope. My microscope's based on, on, like evading monsters and i was like ah, i'm not gonna have to do i'm not gonna deal have to deal with this so i threw that away instead of some other card i had that was the same cost that's all right i can come up there and do it too because i'll i'll i have to get I'll, once i get i'm gonna get rid of this freaking fungal rot then i can use my uh wolf mask well, to I'll, evade. i'll totally be able to evade i just won't be able to get the benefit of the evade onto my microscope which is the mechanic there. It like puts stuff on the mic and puts shit on the microscope so that you can use it to get more clues from locations. But god damn it, I threw it out. It's okay. Oh you wait, can also use I got your the clues, clues to do it too. Yeah, I got the clues at this location. So this but now I have a plus one head. Feeling better on that one, on that account. We basically, so, we don't have that. Or is it? How did that? Oh, I that came out because I took. Okay, so I am going to move in here. Uh, if you successfully, it's evade, aloof, so it doesn't fuck you. Okay. Did you read the? Uh, oh yeah, you read the little thingy. Yeah. So that makes you, and this is a loop. So my, I did, what did I do? I got that card. I moved, but that takes both of my actions because of fucking yeah. frozen and butt. Frozen and farts. All right. So frozen and farts. <clears throat> now I'm at least even. I can beat it with this, maybe. Yeah, I should do it. Oh, we just one, gotta get that two. fucking crystal shard, and then we're done. Well, crystal shard, then we gotta run back to the uh, Pearl Estate ruins to resign. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> mm, do I even want to do that? I won't have to worry about it. <clears throat> see. How many clues do I have? Three. I still have two. 
and I can pick it up easily. Or am I? That's a two. Yeah. Easy. So I'm gonna spend that to drop a clue. Too bad I don't have my research notes. That's long gone. Hey, if you dropped a clue, yeah, don't you get to put an evidence on your? Oh wait, oh that's the research. That's the camera, not the research. Yep, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> if I, if I hadn't lost uh, my research notes. I, I, I'm so I, I totally forgot that you did all that, and I know I'm like kind of <laughs> a little behind the times here. I swear I wasn't smoking any weed yet. <laughs> um, let's see. This. Oh, yeah, it's two. Duh. All right. And I dropped it. So I get a plus three. So I'm six now. Six over three. There you go. Yes. Fuck you, frozen in fear. Ah. All right. So oh, we're it's enemy He's phase. He's going to get to the mythos and... Uh... What? Oh, this thing moves over here, though. Yeah. There's research notes. Pitchfork's nice to have. Fuck. Plus one and two damage. Um, all right. I promise as I drop it. This is the ah, uh, the flipping of the agenda. This is where it's going to get hard. An acrid stench wafts from somewhere deep below the skittering of hundreds of legs fills the air before a monstrous insect emerges from underground. It has sticky, translucent skin and a pair of shriveled black wings with a uh, that hang limply over its back. The creature stares at you with unfeeling beady eyes, waving its antenna to announce your presence. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an insect enemy is discarded. The lead investigator draws that enemy. Shuffle the encounter deck. Discard card. Encounter. It was actually not that bad. So, if to, does it say discard? Yeah, discard. Yep. Okay. Uh, crazy card. Doesn't matter because that is not an insect. Is a crazy looking card. Crazy looking card. Crazy ass looking card. It remains. Nice to get rid of all of these. Jesus. Yeah, we're not. It's just going to shuffle it all back in. Yeah, right? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, man, we're getting rid of all these good cards. We can't. Damn it. Well, that's a whole rot. Jeez. Get all the enemies out already. Maybe. Maybe it's not. There you go. But an insect? Yes. The dude soldier. So that's on me. <laughs> Got a dude on you. Can Got probably a dude it. on you. Yeah. Um. All right. Desolation. Wait. Oh wait, no, it's aloof. Wait a oh wait, but it says that it, it it's attached to you. We weren't. Sorry. Okay. Now it says it draws that enemy. Does that mean that you get it, or does that just mean you draw that and it's still aloof, though? I draw it as if I had uh, had drawn it. Oh, yeah, it's aloof. Cave location. With Clues, Clues that's going to be the tunnel, so that's there. But it's aloof. Aloof, yeah. Gives the shroud um, a plus two. Okay. Or shroud now. So now, insects scurry to and fro, alarmed by your presence. 
Each insect enemy loses a loop and <laughs> there you go. Ah. Alright, so um, thing and and this one goes on you too. When when Doom is placed on the agenda, if the brood queen enemy is set aside, reveal tokens. Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah. Enemies in the victory display. If a token with a symbol is revealed. Oh. If a token with a symbol is revealed, spawn the set aside brood queen enemy. Whew. Any symbol. And the brood queen comes back out. Wait, what? It says right here. No, oh, wait a minute. Doom's place on Jenna. If the Bird Queen is set aside, it said if it's set aside, then you do all that shit. But it's in the it's already in the victory this Yeah, okay. That's the same as before. Yeah, so it's, it's that we don't have to worry about. And uh it is ten. You wanna draw the cards and leave the rest to next week? I think it's a each on the best. Oh, each in under this as resigned. And there are more than one. Um, yeah, I guess so. It will probably... I mean, worse comes to worse if somehow we do it quick on the next one we we're just going probably what we're going into the next uh prelude, yeah. prelude so that should be an easy transition yeah totally that sounds good uh so let's just take our right oh <laughs> oh this is aloof for now yeah that one's a leaf. You only had to draw the last one. Empyrean Brilliance. We'll figure out what that is when we come back. <laughs> want to know. Yeah. I don't want that weighing on my conscience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, that has been the Silent Heath. We will be back next week, Wednesday. 7.30 Pacific Standard Time uh, to finish the Silent Heath and see what happens with this brood mother. Or actually, she's already gone, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, yeah. Quick work on that mother. <laughs> um, so we'll see you next week. And uh, until then, go to nonhumanuser.com. Check out everything that's there. Usually you have a <laughs> spiel, but I don't feel like saying it. Let's go check it out. Uh, check see. out the books. Yep, Get the we'll books. See you. Come on, people. We'll Get those books, week. especially that sacked man. Got a lot of crazy stuff coming. Gotta get it. <laughs> Gotta get it. Yeah, check out the website and enjoy it. Nonhumanuser.com. Uh, we'll see you next week.